Previously on The Truth. Feta and salmon. Very, very tasty. Very tasty. Um, three plates aside. And then I took some anger out on this bag. You, you, you can't hide, you can't run. R -r Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Big shot, man, listen. You can't hide, you can't run. So, guys. It is what day is it? Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Wednesday. And it's leg day. Um just about to head to the gym now. I'm gonna get a few highlights of my box squats, see what the progress is on that. I'm currently trying to upgrade the laptop to um OS X Yosemite. So um yeah, so I can hopefully get the newest version of Final Cut Pro and bring you some monster gains on the video editing front. Because I do I do majority of my editing. Um, and then I have the guy, Danny, who does um, a lot of the filming and some of the editing. So, I will see you at the gym. <sighs> Alright guys, so... I've just done my fourth set on um, box squats. Um, now it's for 180 kilos. I'll put it in pounds on the screen. Um, the last heavy, heavy set I did on box squats, I've got two 200 kilos, which is 440 pounds. Um, but that was like my last set, so I wanted to bring it back a little bit, strip the weight back a little bit and then try and get five sets on just one working weight. And then as I progress every week, try and add more weight to that working working weight as opposed to almost like pyramid. Kind of taking a kind of a power lifter approach to it, but it just helps to see your progress. For some weeks you might do like your max and then the following week you can't do it again and that's because you've just you've exhausted so in effect to get your muscles to grow you all you need is just uh, heavy resistance for a certain amount of reps and then progressive overload so every week you increase it so I've got to see how this um, formatting works um, just about to do my fifth set it's really taken out of me I'm trying to do the, the reps slow so three seconds down, um, then a pause on the bench and three seconds up, just to make sure that my form is really good. The three seconds up is more because it's heavy as fuck. <laughs> and to shoot it up that quickly, it's just, it won't happen. So, yeah, final set. So back from what was a quite a punishing leg session. Um, a lot of drop sets, um, a lot of reps, heavy weight, rest pause. <sighs> but it's done. I feel good, I feel good. Um, I'm gonna weigh myself, actually no, I'll save my weighing for Friday um, and see what my progress is. Keep again, it's Wednesday already. Weeks are going fast. It's two and a half weeks until show day. Um, yeah, just got home. My laptop is still updating. I'm, I'm trying to update my operating system to Yosemite. Been meaning to do it for a little while, but I've just, I've just been lazy to back up my info and all that kind of stuff. So it's been left till now. So it is currently updating still. Even though I left it before I went to the gym. 
but time for my post-workout meal and I've had to adjust my um, my macros um, for my meals up until now because going out for my sister-in-law's son so kind of yeah he's my nephew um, so to speak going out for his birthday he's only eight we're going to Nando's and stuff so um, cheeky little Nando's so that'll be interesting well yeah I'm gonna eat probably the next time you see me will be when we're just about to leave so I will check you guys later alright so Dash just come back from town and look what she got me <coughs> that's awesome 100 recipes for making burgers Jamaican jerk chicken burgers man oh man now oh, that's the truth right there smoke burgers get that focus uh, yeah focus yeah loving that loving that loving that loving that can't wait <sighs> cheap meals sorted oh anyway, now you will see us when we're leaving for tonight come on So like I mentioned earlier, we are heading out to Nando's for cheeky Nando's. I'm gonna show you guys the swag. I feel I feel fresh today. It's just a nice long sleeve fitted top. These are probably the only jeans that I can wear because otherwise it rubs here. And there's some nice boots. Boots from uh, River Island, I think. Alright, so we're in Nando's. The pan round, nation of system. Whole family's here. It's this little man's birthday right here. <laughs> Alright, so see what I've ordered, so you guys know I'm not lying. I have ordered the butterfly chicken breast, ratatouille, halloumi and half an avocado on the side and a diet coke. Go on, focus. Alright. Tracked it. All in my fitness pal. Just grab my phone. Alright, so the food that I have left to eat, I'll show you. I'll switch it over, show you now. Alright, so let's have a look. Go on, focus. So, yeah, tracked it. Butterfly chicken, halloumi cheese, ratatouille. I actually have. I'm meant to have like one more when I get home which includes the half an avocado there so when I get home I'll just have the bacon rashers right. so yeah sticking with my macros that have been set I'm not going off track I'm staying on track and I had to do a little cheeky bathroom shot so I'll flick the picture on the screen now looking pretty shredded still it's, it's quite late it's 5 to 8 p.m. so um yeah to be holding conditioning tight like that at this time I'm, I'm quite happy with so anyway before I start rambling on I'll show you the food when it gets here right, food has arrived Butterfly chicken, ratatouille, lumi cheese, avocado. It's time too much. Catch you in a bit. 
time for my weigh-in. Alright guys, so as you saw, 1.1 kilos down from last week. I am extremely ecstatic about that as I enter the last two weeks of this prep. Um, but at the moment I am heading over to Metroflex. Um, a subscriber uh, wants, wanted to meet me and he's in South London. So I said I'd um, come up and, and meet him. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then straight after we've had like a chat and stuff, I'm gonna be smashing out a back session. Love training back at Metroflex. The amount of machines that are there is just, it's good. You get a real good pump, real good workout. So um, right now I'm sporting my Superman combo. So as you see, I've got the Superman snapback with the black and red sleeveless machine hoodie. Then I've got my yellow intensity stringer with the red bottoms. The Superman combo. So yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Um, so yeah, I will see you at the gym and introduce you to my new friend. All of my subscribers are my friends. So yeah, I introduce you guys to him. You probably recognize him, his name in the comments section, but now you get to put a face to the name. So I will see you guys there. Peace. All right, so I'm here with Albert. If you haven't seen his channel, it's AA, is it AA Fitness? AA Fitness. Yeah. yeah, AA Fitness, if you haven't seen his channel, check it out. Um, he's a big machine fan. <laughs> you see, he watches all the machine guys. Love it. So um, I'm gonna do a little quick quick Q&A for him, um, for his subscribers. But make sure you go over his channel, check it out. Help boost his channel, because we all family. Yeah, <laughs> we are family. Yeah. <laughs> I was 620, trying to get to my thousand subscribers, so help me out, guys. And I'm so thankful for Gabriel meeting me today. So. All right, cool. So I'm going to answer a few questions. I'm going to smash back. So I'll probably see you back at home. Peace. Yeah, folks, that's the noise. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, seeing as he took the time to come and see me, got a little surprise. Oh mate, that's awesome! Unleash the Beast t-shirt. And also Macro Map Fitness. Um, I know you won the competition. I haven't forgotten about you. I just had to get some new ones printed and it's on its way to you. So look out for that. Thanks so much, Gabriel. I can't, I can't wait to show you this to people. Back. Look at where I live, they're going to be so jealous. <laughs> the people know that I can't see Gabriel today. So when I tell them about this and they see this, they're going to know I've trained with the truth. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, let's get this Q&A done. All right, guys, so literally just getting back from the gym now. It's really nice to meet Albert. He's a very cool guy, very, very cool guy. We ended up talking for like, I think over an hour, which was really cool because when it was originally arranged, like we were talking like 15 minutes, but yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. I like to talk to cool people. I like to talk a lot. And he had a lot of questions, so, you know, it just took the time. But, all right, I'm gonna continue this when I get in, because I don't want to get run over. All right, guys, so back from the gym. I didn't go too heavy, because I've been getting the massages every day this week and um, I didn't want to mess anything up. So took it easy, just pumped a lot of blood into the muscle. And that was pretty much it. If you want to see little clips, Albert's going to put it on his channel. Um, but yeah, he was a really nice guy. Really, really liked meeting him. He was very cool, down to earth. Wanted to learn a lot, so asked a lot of questions and that was cool, I, I, I like to talk. So um, yeah, it was good. It was good. And um, I've let him in on the 
a little secret about my uh, 10,000 calorie challenge which stay tuned because I'm going to properly announce it because I want to get some people involved so I'll leave it on that cliffhanger for now but yeah here you I think I think it'll be good it'll be good so stay tuned for future videos where I will announce this properly but let's have a look at what I'm eating post-workout now this this is amazing I just took the ingredients that I'd normally use and made it into something tasty I got myself a chicken burger, chicken and bacon burger. Now basically with these is a keto flatbread. I just put some herbs in it and then I grilled it afterwards. So it just made it that little bit harder, but still soft on the inside. And then chicken burger with some cheese, some bacon on top. There you have it, keto friendly and taste it so i am going to eat this and i will see you later you, you, you can't hide you can't run R -r remember to always be true no matter what you do <laughs> i never front it i got my whole cool life on